Hi everyone, I'm Laurentiu and in this video I'm going to talk about all NCAA games for the Sony PSP. The first one, NCAA 2007, is a great start on the PSP. You get a huge lot of teams. So many that I haven't counted because there are too many. And not only that you get a lot of teams, but each team has unique playbook maneuvers. Which means that playing with each team leads to discovering new strategies that you've probably never seen before. As game modes, you get the dynasty mode, the rivalry game and the mascot game. Rivalry game pits your favorite team against a familiar rival. You know how every hero has its villain. It's the same in the rivalry mode. You play with your favorite team's arch enemies. And in mascot mode, your whole team wears the mascot costume. So you play a game with only mascots on the field. The Campus Legend mode is not present on the PSP and many of the mini games you see on PS2 are not present in the portable version either. Actually no mini game for, from the PS2 is present in the portable version. You also get a jump snap button that lets you get a jump off the line if you time it just right. Also the game has a major bug related to spotting the ball at the right location while doing running plays. While it doesn't happen every time, it sure is annoying to see that the yardage is at the point of contact, rather than where you manage to get with the ball. NCAA 2009 has one new game mode, the Freshman mode, which is similar to the Rookie mode from Madden NFL. It even has the one button mechanic from there. It's a good game mode for those who want a, a more casual experience from the game, but veterans, don't worry. You still have the dynasty mode to kick ass. In rest, you get more stadiums, but it comes with a price. The loading times are worse than in NCAA 2007, and the game has frequent stutter. In NCAA 10, the graphics look cleaner, but there are less weather effects present. Less to none weather effects. The character models look less detailed, but the game runs faster, so everything comes with a price. But even if the visuals aren't as great, it packs more teams, more stadiums and a new mode, the Road to Glory mode, where you take a high school graduate and make him a legend, and this game mode is pretty detailed and rich in content. So in conclusion, each game has something unique about it. NCAA 7 has in my opinion the best graphics, but has a lot of bugs, NCAA 2009 is stuttery, is, it stutters too much, and NCAA 10 looks worse, but doesn't have bugs nor stutters. The frame rate is ok, and it has a lot of content, so it's up to you which one you want to choose okay so this was the video if you liked it please see the like button and subscribe and if you want follow me on twitch instagram or discord i left the links to those in the video description also if you want to see another video of mine just wait till i stop talking and there will be thumbnails of other videos i made thanks for watching